Oftentimes, aspiring movie makers think the best route is shooting a film in a big city like Los Angeles or New York. Yeah, you go to the big markets, right? Traditionally, but one film made right here in the biggest little city has seemingly defied the odds. Jaden Urban joins us now live in the studio to tell us more about the film. Jaden, what'd you learn? Well, with only a $20,000 budget and eight years of making the movie, a locally crafted film now lives on a streaming service with thousands of movies that had much bigger support. There's still no trace of Ian Blair. The movie Shadows of Betrayal Chronicles of Ian Blair is about a man who was accused of killing his wife, trying to clear his name. The main star of the film, Malik Fromm, also wrote, directed, and edited it. I thought that I had to go to L.A. I thought that I had to go to college for this. And I realized that the love, for the, that, the love that I have for Reno and the love that I have for film, that anything could be possible. The born and raised Reno native started working on this movie eight years ago, back in high school. That's when his now partner in crime saw the potential. I was really surprised and kind of shocked at how good some of his work looked just right out of high school with the limited stuff he was using at the time. The two then founded the company Orange Lion Studios. Reyes had experience with stunt work and movies for years. With his role as the executive producer, he had ties to many local talent and crews to help bring it to life. I just tried to back him up and help him get all the peripherals handled and handle some of the business aspects of it with you know, uh, licensing or permits that were needed. The film had a modest budget of $20,000. The two utilized all the local resources they could, from filming in parking lots, working with fire departments, and using people's houses. Once the film was completed, the future was uncertain. We didn't know if this film was going to be on YouTube, another YouTube film with the millions of other films that are out there. On July 5th, they got the word that Amazon Prime picked it up. After the celebrations were had, sites were still to aim for the moon. It's a beginning stone for us. We're not in that successful sort of thing yet. We're not. We're building upon this. And Amazon Prime was the beginning and the building blocks for what can and could be possible going forward. Their studio is currently writing more films to try and top the success of this one, to leave a legacy in film right here in the 775. And if you would like to see the movie for yourself on Prime, we have it in our news links section on our website, 2news.com. Covering the story, Jaden Urban, 2News Nevada.